everybody. I thought I'd hop on real quick and show you guys how I make my homemade healthy granola. So first of all, we're going to start off with the old fashioned oats. This is the brand I use. We are going to do one and a half cups and I'm using a fourth cup. So there's one. So there's one cup, one, two. Calls for dried cranberries. I'm using this one, and it wants one fourth of a cup. Just put it in my bowl there. And instead of pecans, I am using almonds because I don't really like pecans. So these are the ones I got, and it says like 40 pecans, but I'm not using them. I'm just going to do a half a cup of almonds. The next thing I like to put in mine is like coconut. And I put one fourth of a cup. You can use um, unsweetened. I just happened to get the sweetened because it was the only one they had. I use pumpkin seeds. I try not to get any that are salted, but again, this is all my store had. And you want to get them where they're already shelled. It just tastes better. I've used the others and I didn't really like the taste of it, so I prefer the ones already shelled. And again, we use one fourth of a cup. And next, I use maple syrup. I buy the organic, 100% pure maple syrup. Make sure it is nothing but maple syrup. The only ingredient should be listed is maple syrup because you don't want to add a ton of sugar to it. And it calls for three tablespoons. One, two, and three. I like to add a little bit of cinnamon to mine and that's the one I use. Please make sure you get ground cinnamon and not cinnamon sugar. There is a difference between them. And we use one fourth of a teaspoon. Just kind of sprinkle it around there. Then I also like to add a little bit of nutmeg. And it calls for one fourth of a teaspoon of that as well. Again, you just kind of sprinkle that one around. Then the last one I like to use is pure vanilla extract. And you use a teaspoon. I prefer the pure, because I just, it just tastes better to me, than the imitation. And plus you use a lot less of it. At least in my opinion you do. Then the final ingredient is melted butter. Before we add the butter, I'm going to go ahead and stir everything up. And while you are mixing all this, make sure your oven is preheated to 300 degrees. And you'll want to get a cookie sheet and lay out parchment paper before you begin. It makes cleanup a lot easier. Oh, okay, it's nice and mixed, so I'm just going to add my butter. And this is one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of butter. Again, you want to get it mixed up really good. This granola is so easy to make, and it is really, really good. I use it in yogurt. I'll eat it just as granola and a little bit of milk. Sometimes I'll add some strawberries and blackberries or blueberries to it. Other times I treat it as a trail mix, and it's just really good. My son actually likes it, so that's a good thing, and it is healthy for you. There's no added sugars. It's just pure ingredients. Now, normally you would want to add just a little bit of salt, but where my pumpkin seeds were salted, I chose not to because I don't like a lot of salt in my food. So you get it all mixed up, and that's what it looks like. And then you will want to go ahead and spread it out on your cookie. 
cookie sheet. There it is. It's all flattened out on my cookie sheet. Now I am going to put it in the oven for 40 minutes. I just took my granola out of the oven. It is done and it looks so tasty. As you can see, it is very, very easy to make your own homemade granola. The best part is this is a healthy granola and it is very, very tasty. Like I said earlier, my son just can't stay out of it. He just loves it and I'm really glad that he has a healthy granola to eat. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried this recipe and what you think of it. Until next time, au revoir.